learned so much watching you, Rad. Taught me, gave me a taste of the good life, but that's all I was allowed, a taste. You greedy Anselm. Expect. I suppose I expected something better than a bullet in the face, but as with everything involving you, things are more complicated than they may appear. If I could, I'd end this right now. Give you the horrifying death that you so deserve. You'll do it. Mm. When it's time. You see, sadly, this isn't my surprise party. I am merely the hired help. My job was to get you to the venue. And while I would pay a high price to silence you forever, others have paid much more for the chance to hear what you have to say. Please. Anesthesia blocks the impulses to the brain so one doesn't feel the sensation of pain. The drug that the kind doctor is giving you is the opposite. It enhances the impulses received by the brain. When he's finished, the feeling of a breeze wafting against your skin will be enough to make you beg me to kill you. 210 over 145. 103.7. Increase the dosage. We're already 12 cc's over the max. Then why isn't it working? He's resisting somehow. I could stick him again, but if his heart goes into V-fib, we could lose him. <laughs> stick him again. So we're ready here? Wow, bloody time. Come on, get him a chair. <clears throat> Just you and me again, Red. Just like the old days. I'm give it a rest. We both know Fitch will not use energy. That's as may be. Do you know what I can do, though, Red? I can find Lizzie. I can hurt her. I can make her suffer. And when I'm finished, I can kill her. Sometimes you just have to take what you can in this crazy world. Guess who taught me that, Red? You did. What? No smart quips. No? <coughs> You're not actually feeling something, are you, Red? Good Red. Oh.